you know, a long, long time ago, you know, I've been working with Tony closely, Tony Robbins closely for, you know, 22 years. Um, and I get to spend a lot of time in that environment as one of his trainers, which has been a real blessing and a real gift. I've learned so much from him. And I remember several years ago, he, he, we were at a date with Destiny. He said, you know, he'd been practicing something for the last several months. He'd been practicing giving himself 90 seconds from the moment he gets triggered and he could be getting some news like, you know, they've just lost $2 million, you know, or they've just lost a deal or whatever. And, or he just, just discovered something had gone wrong in one of his multiple businesses. And he would get really irate and, um, and upset about that for, for a period of time. And it would last sometimes weeks, right? And, and then he gave himself a task. He said, I'm going to give myself 90 seconds. He had just spent some time in India before that where he had this amazing experience. And he said, I'm going to give myself 90 seconds to get back to my peaceful center. And when, when he started telling people about that, he said some of his friends said, oh, that's crazy, man, 90 seconds. But he practiced it. Right? And, and, you know, Tony's, you know, Tony's an incredible human being, right? And when he puts his mind to something, he makes it happen. And so when he said that, I said to myself, I said, you know what? I'm going to practice that. So, and then I thought, where's the best environment for me to practice that? I thought, in my car, in the traffic, right? And so I began to practice that. And now I can tell you, when you practice something like daily, like I go to the gym every day, right? Well, six days a week. And when you, when you practice anything, whether it's physical exercise, health, eating, whatever it is, if you practice cons cons consistently, you've got the compound effect, right? And eventually the compound effect, Darren Hardy wrote the great book, The Compound Effect, brilliant book. You know, the compound effect of, of little effort every single day, it adds up. You know, honestly, I can tell you right now, I get triggered every day. I'm a human being, right? But I'm, within 10 seconds, and I'm not kidding, within 10 seconds, I'm back to my center because I have a system. When I get triggered, I immediately, when I get triggered, it doesn't matter if it's in the traffic or with my daughter, you know, my daughter's, you know, her now, I love my daughter, you know, she's 17. We've had our challenges. She's got the same temperament as me. She was also one of the, one of the, one of the, uh, the biggest growth opportunities for me was my daughter. My son was different. You know, boys are different. But I gave myself the system, right? So when I get triggered, I go through the system and, and within 10, 10 seconds, I'm back to my center and I'm reminding myself about what's important. And, and anybody can do it. Anybody can do it. It just takes practice. It takes diligent practice and a, and a commitment to the result. Like, what are you committed to? Are you committed to being pissed off? Or are you committed to being peaceful and in a loving state where you can serve people that really matter, right? Or that the people that re you really care about, you know, because then what happens is your life, your life flourishes as a result of that, right? And then when you meet those people, you, they don't even have to open their mouth. Look at Nelson Mandela, right? I never got a chance to meet him, but I've, I know people who have met him. Some friends of mine have met him. And, you know, he was the kind of person they said, he didn't even open his mouth. He, you, you just, if he came in the room behind you and you were facing the other way, you could feel his presence, right? Because he had such a vibration, such an aura. Tony Robbins is like that. The Dalai Lama is like that. You know, Louise Hay was like that. You know, Maya Angelou was like that. You know, there's so many people like that because they've practiced. They've, they've, got, a, they've got their own personal discipline because they've made a constant, uh, uh, sorry, a, a very conscious decision about who they want to be on this world and how they want to affect people.